Hello again, my name is Draco. So today I got a small tutorial for you. Uh, so I previously had a very bad image in my survival world. Uh, this one is okay. But I want to show you how to change this icon. So what you want to do is first go into the world. Okay, let's let it load a little bit. So this is my world by the way. So this is my castle and uh, let's let it load in a little bit okay like that so you go back out of the world save then uh, go to single player again select the world you want to, to edit press on edit down here and reset icon and then cancel and now the image is gone as you can see so go back into the world Okay, let it load a little bit. I don't think that it's really necessary to actually let it load, but just in case. Okay, get out of the world again. Single player, and the image has been changed. So, yeah, that's uh, actually all you need to know. Um, if you want to add edit a custom image to it, you select this world. This, so this is a testing world that I used before I started using 1.9. So press edit again, then um, um, reset icon, no, open folder I mean, then you get your map, uh, your, um, your folder, which you can't see right now, so I'm going to use a different program to record that, so I will be right back. Okay, so I'm using a different program now. As you can see, I've already changed one image over here. It's now a monkey. So I will do the same to the seat of my world. So um, this is the seat of my world, if you want to use my world. So um, select the world, press edit, uh, go to open folder. Now you can see the folder. I already got the image in here. So um, let's edit this image. Press on edit. Okay, so it's as you can see, it's a pretty big image. Um, first thing you want to do is make a selection of whatever you want to use. So let's see, let's do this in full screen. Um, so make a selection. Oh, that's not a selection. Control Z, uh, select. So I want to use this part of the image. Let's see, like so maybe. Okay, then move that all the way to the top. Let's see, like in the top corner, like that. Something like that. Okay, it is, it's just for a tutorial, so it's not really a problem. So press here. Um, take this corner, drag it all the way there. Okay, now you get a big image. So down here you can see the size of the selected image. Let's see, uh, control A, now it's all, all selected. Uh, so this is the total image. I think you can see that, I think I have it selected, yes. Okay, so it's 712 by 572. So we need to make that um, 64 times 64. So you drag this all the way along. So on the right side, uh, on the left side here, you can see the image size that you're making it. And this is the original size. So the white, the white is still the original size. So drag it all the way along until you have 64. So it's really small image, something like this. Now it's too small. Okay, a little bit back to the left and a little bit down, I think. E one too many okay oh come on almost had it yeah okay like that so it's a really small image so the white has to be the same um has to be also 64 so you can see that on the as you can you can see it move right now it's it also has to be 64 64 so something like this one more okay let go so now it's 64 times 64. What you do now is select um, this icon, 
then save as save as png picture and then um, yeah I already pasted it in the right folder so now it needs to be called icon so I C O N I think that's the spelling I'm not sure save then you can close this off okay so now you can see it in here this is the icon then that means you can remove this one delete you don't even have to have that in there but whatever close this off press cancel and now we've got two monkeys so yeah uh, that's actually all you need to do for that so i really hope you find this useful if you did a like would be appreciated a comment as well i want to thank you for watching and i'll hope to see you next time bye